Nowadays, if you want to play a video game online, you'll sign on to Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network. But for one group of friends in Chicago, they have a slightly different idea. Hi everyone, I'm Aaron from Versus the Universe and I got the very special opportunity to talk to some of the people from Street Pass Chicago this week. Street Pass Chicago has existed for a little bit more than a year and it's an important part of People's Month because every two weeks they come together to play some games, get some Street Passes and make new friends. The nice thing about Nintendo is that people make fun of them a lot for not fostering much of an online community but that's not really where their strength is. Their strength is making the local players feel welcome and that's exactly why I'm here. We wanted to ask them what it was that made this group so special and why it was an important part of their life. To me, it's uh, giving an idea of how people can come together. I've never seen so many people come together at once. The reason why they're being viewed as third place or fourth place is because you have a handful of gamers that think that Nintendo is geared towards the younger audience. And that doesn't really hold true, you know. Holding these meetups at several months, you know, I've noticed that we had people from different age groups, you know, old, young, you know, in the middle, it's just, it's just not true. The group always encourages people of all shapes, sizes, and ages to attend. Online, you don't really interact with someone face-to-face, -face. you know, with Street Pass ability, you know, you're there in front of them, you know, you can talk, you know, mingle, get to know them, and I find that feature pretty good. Since forming in 2011, Street Pass Chicago has over 340 likes on Facebook, and they're still looking to grow. We are a nonprofit organization. Uh, we meet in downtown Chicago, talk about anything gaming related, and you know, meet friends. The group's organizer, Will Castaneda, has been planning events for Street Pass Chicago since it started. When you're playing online, sure you can talk to people over the mic, but you're not getting that sense of physical reaction to them. You don't see their facial expression, but when you're playing with them in real life, uh, you get to see their reactions, you get to hear the tone of voice, you get to see them flail their arms. And um, Nintendo games have been really good with creating uh, same room experiences. Because of Street Pass being built into the system and all these people you know, gathering up and sort of meeting up with each other, having these meetups, you meet people you would have never otherwise met before. Roger D. Luigi is an avid Nintendo fan and has been a very active member in the Street Pass Chicago community. I had heard about the event from Will and from Oscar. Um, I'd heard about it, I thought it was a cool idea, and then I just kept coming because I kept meeting cool people every time. Rob is the first one that told me about the group, and on a whim, I visited. We started meeting outside the Bean in Chicago, and I started making new friends, and I started to realize that Nintendo really had something going for us here. Aside from getting angry at people in Mario Kart and playing Mario Party, Nintendo really afforded us an opportunity to get together as a culture and get together as friends and discuss things that we really liked. More important than that, Street Pass Chicago is a safe place. It's an environment where people can come and not be judged. I am, you know, kind of a nerd, but it doesn't matter where I come from, what I look like, um, who my parents are, what my socioeconomic background is. I, I love Nintendo games and I love people who love Nintendo games. Uh, so I think there's just a sense of I'm comfortable, uh, I'm passionate, and uh, I'm proud, uh, and I think this group is really good for that. Uh, my name is Anjali Parikh. Uh, I'm a female gamer, proud female gamer, and uh, I've been with this group for about 15, 16 months. This is just a great place to relax and like, in a carefree environment, play games, but also meet people that have a lot of things in common with you. So I think it's a, I mean, I've met so many people here, and it's always great to see them come like back, and you know, you ask them the next month, like, oh, we missed you the last month, and it's just, it's nice. Though the group recently had over 50 unique attendants at their latest beat-up, they're still not officially recognized by Nintendo of America. That's something Oscar wants to change immediately. The goal for me after getting actually uh, this started was uh, you know, getting recognition from Nintendo. You know, New York has it, other Street Pass communities have it, and it'd be nice that, you know, Chicago could actually have that too. Yeah, we're one of the major cities in the U.S., so we really need to be out there. You can just play. You can play and enjoy yourself, and time flies. Every time. That's what I consider the best about it. Good people, good games, good times. It's just, that's just what it is. 
whether or not you live in a big city like Chicago or a smaller town, odds are you have a comic shop, a coffee shop, or even a park that you can meet up in and make some new friends. If you have a 3DS, and even if you don't, why don't you try getting together with some people and just talking about the thing that you love the most, video games. To summarize Street Pass Chicago, I'm going to quote Oscar. It's not me alone that makes our community great, but each and every one of you. Thank you guys for watching.